My mic is down, but I will manage it that way. All right, so thank you so much. This is Village Boy, and you're welcome to Village Boy YouTube channel. 24 7, I say, Akuma and Sweet to the world. Hashtag save Akuma and Sweet now. 24 7, we're talking about our villages. 24 7, we are advocating for our villages. 24 7, we are impacting lives. 24 7, we are bringing good things to our villages, all right? Because indirectly, our villages serve as a backbone of this country. Ghana, to be precise, West Africa, we are so honored to have you on this platform we are so so you know impressed to have you here and i really appreciate your effort your time that you make to watch my videos this is village boy as you can see my background you like it this is a rock in my house here you, you could imagine if this is a rock in my house then you could imagine the other you know within the um the corridors of akuma and city there are a lot of rocks here on the mount very very like the community is actually situated in a valley very mountainous you know both sides are mount mountainous so how, how should i explain it in a valley you know assume something just look at it in a anything in a valley how the the, the, the edifice right like the landscape of it just check it out and you will definitely um i mean view akuman city in such regard all right beautiful today i'm actually graduating from the university of cape coast one of the best universities in west africa one of the best ucc 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 therefore rise to your call ucc ucc to our call let us rise to our call let us rise very tanobis lumen all right so big us on yourself let let me begin by uh, you know how it all happened all right so in 20 i completed sHS in 2015 yes 2015 and uh, because of financial you know burdens crisis here yes, and there yes, i couldn't yes. further medication within the same year yes, on 2017 yes. i applied to the university of um KNUSC, Kwame Kwame university of science and technology in kumasi and uh, unfortunately yes, i had admission yes, yes. i was offered to read yes, yes. a general agriculture bsc in general agriculture yes, but unfortunately there's, there wasn't money, still financial burden, crisis here and there. You know, I was supposed to pay uh, 2,100 Ghana cities. I, di I didn't get the money. I, I don't have the money. Huh, so sad. So in 2019, I applied to, K uh, what do you call it, UCC and University of Ghana uh, to read uh, IT. Unfortunately, both schools offered me to read BSc Information Technology. I really appreciate it. So I quite remember that very, you know, year 2019, my father... You know, what escorted me to Kufridia Barclays Bank to pay my school fees. And, you know, it all happened because of some people uh, outside my family took it as a responsibility, as a mandate to support my education, as well as my family, my, 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 my family members as well. And uh, fortunately, by God's grace, we were able to pay the fees. UCC, you know, actually UCC admission came first. And so I paid UCC fees, but in my head, I was, you know, all the time thinking about university of ghana to make it to the university of ghana and to do my read my it but unfortunately i would say unfortunately unfortunately i paid ucc admission fees and uh, i made a journey to ucc campus that happens to be my very first time so i quite remember the very day i set off from the village carrying my you know my potomanto my ghana must go on my head my father following me to my hometown of and you know something was so fantastic and very stressful at the same time we made it to my hometown and the following day we bought a car to Accra Academy. I can't remember because we, 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 we patronize um, UCC, SRC, hassle free transport. And so we got to Accra Academy early in the morning. We set off early uh, from my hometown. That was 2019, there about September there. And we made it to the place, you know, Accra Academy campus uh, in Accra. And uh, we bought a bus where it transported us to uh, UCC campus. My first time seeing university. Ah, my God, this is so beautiful and lovely because I've never set my eyes on any university campus before. Imagine because a guy I'm from a village, a typical village, as you can see, a very cottage where there's no network, electricity, portable water, nothing, absolutely nothing. So me seeing myself in a university, it's like, oh, yo, Charlie, I, I make them, bro. I make them. Because Charlie, you know, be easy. Oh, you know, be easy. Say you go right from the cottage, go to university. You know, be easy. So my first time on the campus of UCC, I was like oh, super overwhelmed, looking at the things. You know, beautiful environment, the serene environment. I'm like, woo, Charlie. I turn my head. I look around. I couldn't 
I mean, the school is big, Ebola, Charlie, Ebola rough. And it was a really an awesome moment, you know, amazing moment. I love every bit of it. So from 2019, you know, when we got to school, the whole week we've not been to lecture. So I'm like, oh, yo, UCC, they are saying it's very hard, very difficult. So I was like, you know, the whole week we are not having any class and those kind of stuff. So it's like the, the school management are aware of the fact that we, we've, been, we, we've been through struggle, stress before coming to the campus. And they are like, you know, yo, these people, these freshers need to relax and refresh their minds before we kickstart the academic work. And I'm like, woo. So the whole week we slept and i'm like gee the school the university they be so the first time we made it to for you know class lectures and i'm like oh the things they are teaching us is kind of easy or something like that it's just something oh you see ucc will take you from the lowest to the highest they will they will make sure that they process you they pass you through you know a whole lot of i mean I'm, let me put it that way like hardship of fire so that at the end of the day when you finally comes out the sun is heating my skin. I'm having vitamin D here. So when you are seeing it sweat, it's, it's normal, man. So like, I'm like, oh, things are easy. But the first quiz, then you know that the things that they are teaching you or <laughs> you, are, you are learning at lectures wasn't all that easy. So it, one thing I don't like about UCC is the quiz. I don't like UCC quiz. It's too sharp. Why? You give me 20 questions and you are asking me to use 10 minutes duration to finish the quiz. And it's just not easy to. Why? UCC, lecturers, why? Uh, but with the exams, you got enough time so far as you know that thing, you'll be able to what, deliver. And so I'm giving you all this, uh, how it happened. It is not, you know, you can use one minute to say something that has really taken you for a while or years. And so I'm trying to, I mean, put things and tell, tell you how it happened from the beginning to, to where I am currently. You know, graduating today is really awesome. Chale, today will be my deal. Chale, celebrate my parents. Celebrate those who supported me. Me, you can ignore me because had it not been their support, their kind gestures, I wouldn't be able to make it to that fit. And I am nothing and zero to write home about. Yes, I'm telling you, I appreciate those who supported me, oh, Papa Cherry, ah, Charlie, Papa Cherry, do, ah, Dad, thank you so much. I really thank everyone. I can't mention all names here. My parents, my family, my siblings, uh, you know, everyone that has supported me, Dr. Steven, uh, Mr. Adamte, and uh, Mr. Cosmos Manu, oh, so it's really a awesome, man. You supported this village boy sitting here graduating today from the best university in West Africa. Ah, Charlie, no be easy. Uh, right now, let, let me see tomorrow, right? So that I can talk about my <laughs> my degree, BSc, Bachelor of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Really a awesome. It's really a awesome and impress, impressive because Charlie, no be easy. Oh. UCC be tough, but actually we've, been, we've been able to sail through and UCC has really passed through as well, but me, not me passing through the university. So today happens to be my wonderful time, wonderful moment, wonderful celebration. We're celebrating my family, we're celebrating my, my, my fathers, those who supported me, you know, together we are celebrating. Say, you see, see, you see, see, you see, see. All right, so me taking my gun today. Charlie, I'm going to lie by my gun, my graduation gun. Lie by it. You know what I mean, right? Lie by it and sleep the, the following morning. Charlie, early in the morning. Bah! <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Black man will say, end on end, baby. End on end, baby. <laughs> We are killing it. It's on it. Finally, this is the official, I mean, um, uh, uh, ceremony to, to, to pass, like to, to terminate 2019 batch out of the school. <laughs> so I want to use this opportunity as well to extend my deepest appreciation to my lecturers, to the UCC school management. And, uh, you know, let me first say that uh, Mr. Jeff Fair, Imano Onyami, thank you so much for giving me such beautiful school. Because if I apply to the school and you didn't offer me in, I don't think it will be possible. The registrar, ah, Charlie, thank you so much. Thank you, lecturers. Thank you, colleagues, friends who have supported me in my academic work. You know, your advice, everyone. I really appreciate you all. God bless you.
bless you and bless you and those on 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 a virtual world all right those on a virtual world on the internet my fans my subscribers help me join me celebrate today because it's really awesome god thank you so much for giving me such a beautiful day such a beautiful moment thank you so much for taking good care of me 2019 to 2023 today i'm graduating from the best university in africa god thank you thank you so much <laughs> i thank you everybody this is akuma and suisi and actually i am a very concerned resident of this community we are advocating imparting lives in our villages and ensuring that things work better for people who are also coming from the villages you know the young ones need to be well developed well guided so that at the end of the day they become better version of themselves even better than i am sitting here talking to you right now thank you so much thank you everybody my name is always village boy kindly subscribe do as i honest be part of this awesome journey and let us transform impact lives in our villages i'll see you again the sun the vitamin d is affecting my body positively yeah it's affecting my body positively ingano fenoko maone jono fenoko akwe kakaka onyamisha obibiara everyone you are blessed mon gbano fenoko ko ye bua ne mo no ah chale ke gbu ele mo kun ke ku ele mo ko <laughs> all right so thank you so much i'll make it another time and let's enjoy ourselves to the fullest all right we're going to freeze but we are not going to we are going to chill but we are not going to freeze we are going to chill but we are not going to freeze we pray for our doors to be open so that we can further you know our, our studies all right those that i'm graduating with we can further our studies as well doing our masters phds and also coming back to our society and solve problems develop products that are going to solve problems that we face daily in our lives i'll see you again my name is village boy bye